All right, hey AP Chemistry. So I wanted to show you what the best color of the solution would be. Now, a lot of solutions, a lot of us may be getting to this point, but this means I have too much of my base in here for my titration. So I wanted to show you what a nice faint pink endpoint would be. And this example I have here, I already, t I already started dropping the titrant into here. I used a lot of solution. Um, and now I'm gonna show you that I'm just gonna drip a little bit at a time and not a lot. So I'm opening the stopcock just a little bit. So it drops a little bit. So look, I did two drops and the color disappears. So I'm gonna open it up again so I get a little bit more, like maybe even one more drop. You might even be able to see the one drop. All right, so I'm gonna open it one, oh, I'm doing it slowly, one drop. One drop, and then it looks like the color disappears. I open the stop clock just a little bit more, one drop, looks like the color disappears, right? So when the pink color kind of goes around like the entire flask, like I just had right now, it's very close to the end point, right? It's almost there. Right now it's still colorless, right? I'm gonna add another couple of drops. All right, so I'm gonna do one, almost there, two, almost there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Look, the pink color, pink color, it goes away. That means I'm not at the end point yet, but it's getting there because the pink color is lasting a little bit longer. So I wanna drop it slowly, 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 Boom, boom, boom. Uh, uh, color still goes away. I guarantee like my next drop is probably gonna do it, right? Or very close to it. So I'm gonna do one more drop. Boom, all right? And oh, that is so close. Did you see how long that pink color was? All right, one more drop. Boom, all right? Ah, we're so close here. One more drop. Eh, not yet. Maybe I'll do one, two drops, three. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Oh, and then it goes faint, 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 faint. Did you see that? That that pink color lasted for a longer time, which means I'm getting really close to my end point. All right. I might have some sodium hydroxide that's hanging off the side of the flask. If you had a stir bar or some water, you could probably drip it into there. Right now, I'm still colorless. So I wanna add maybe one more drop. Boom. Pink is almost there. It looks like it's slightly getting there. One, two, ooh, I did too much in there. That was definitely a little bit too much. All right, this is getting there. I have this faint pink color. Let me do one more drop on the side here. All right, so I'm kind of like swirling it and I know I have some sodium hydroxide in there. This is a pretty nice color. Maybe one more drop just to be sure. All right, do you see how I'm starting to get that little pink color here? One more, up. Oh, okay, all right. This is a really good color. This is a beautiful endpoint. That means I've dropped just enough to have all of my base react completely with my acid. I have two things side by side here. This is way too far. This is beautiful right at the end. You want a faint pink, pink endpoint. If I add any more sodium hydroxide, it's gonna make my solution a little bit darker. Right, so I accidentally added like another drop in there if you saw it. You want your endpoints to look like this, not like this. This is way too far. And in that case, my concentration or my calculations will be overshot and calculated to be higher than normal. So try and go for a fainter, even want it to be a little bit fainter than this. All right, so this is how you are going to drop at the end to get just at the exact end point. You want that faint pink color like this.